I know you get tired of typing. Don't worry, I do as well. But hey, would we want to send voice note rather? You realize how sometimes chats get boring and then people would want to tell us that or people would tell us that they are actually at a noisy place or they are actually at a meeting so they can't listen to our voice note. So we'll have to wait till they get back to us or till they get a good place to listen to our voice note. But I think from today, we are not going to do that anymore because I'm here to teach you how to use speech to text or voice to text on your Android device to continue having your interesting and then productive chats. Cool, right? Stay put, let's roll the intro. All right, so welcome guys. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the voice to text feature in this um, keyboard by Google called Gboard. Now Gboard is available on almost every Android device. You can just go to the Google Play Store and search or confirm if you have it. Right, if you've not used it before, you, pro you might probably be prompted to update it. So you go to your Google Play Store. So quickly, I'll show you how it looks like. Go to Google Play Store and then search for Gboard. I already have it. I can press on it. Yeah, so if you haven't updated it, when you open it, it will require you to um, update it, right? So you just update and then you have your Google, um, sorry, your Gboard or your Google keyboard running, right? So to just use it, first thing I will do is I will open my chat app. So here I'm going to use WhatsApp and then have a conversation with a friend. But to confirm that Gboard is my default keyboard, what I would do is that I would just tap as if I want to type and then press this little keyboard icon at the bottom corner and then I'll you can see that from my list of keyboards that I have different keyboards that I have I have Gboard activated as my default keyboard so you should do that as well so after I have it activated as my default keyboard all I have to do is to just start to talk right? and then whatever I wanted to type I just pick it out and it will be typed for me so you see this little microphone icon just below the whatsapp microphone for voice note I will press that one and then I'll start speaking when it tells me to start to speak or it tells me to speak now right so I tap and wait hey bro it's been a while I decided to check up on you here. Kindly let me know when you are back online by replying to this message. I have a lot of things to discuss with you. Thank you. All right. So immediately I hit any um, key or letter on the keyboard. The voice um, to text feature is automatically um, deactivated. So let's go into it and see. Let's go to what it has been typed and see if there are any mistakes. Then we'll just correct it and send it. So it's like, hey bro, it's been a while. I decided to check up on you here. Can you let me know when you are back online by replying to this message? So I think I'll have a full stop here. I have a lot of things to discuss with you. Right, so stop. I thank you. Should begin with a capital letter. Beautifully typed sent right i'll go ahead and add another message for uh, this friend of mine hey bro fyi there is this new business idea that has come up and i would want to run it by you to see what you think and then how we can progress from there don't hesitate to reply this message full stop Right, you missed this one, right? So in the previous one, I typed the full stop just to, you know, end the message. But you could actually say all those um, full stops, the commas, the exclamations, the apostrophe, and then all that, you know, and it will just be typed for you. So I'll also look at this one if there are any corrections to make before I send it. So hey bro, FYI, there's this new business idea that has come up and I would want to run it by you to see what you think and then 
how we can progress okay so let's say and then see how we can progress from there um, i'll correct this one don't hesitate to reply this message i think i will just add thank you i'll just type it in and then i'll send it cool huh <laughs> right so, so this one actually saves me a lot of time okay it saves me a lot of time and then i'm able to get um, my message across or sent without me actually going through a lot of trouble to type it so there you go give it a try whenever you don't feel like typing yourself and then kindly let me know in the comment section if you knew about this app and i would also want to get feedback from you on which video you would want me to work on next or which tutorial you would want me to work on next now before you go yes i know i've not been fair with you with giving you content back to back in the previous times but as i did in my host new video days ago i am promising you that i'm going to feed you with content every week all you have to do is to let me know that you really like my videos by subscribing to my channel and then giving me thumbs up and then don't forget to share right just to support this channel as i always say stay safe eat well and make the best out of every day can copy here and then i'm out see you in the next